Hey everybody, Dr. K here. Welcome to Fat Loss Secret Number 2. Today we're going to talk about EPOC, Exercise Post Oxygen Consumption. The truth is, if you always have a philosophy of gaining EPOC following your workouts, your metabolism is going to be up for 48 to 72 hours following every time you're in the gym. What a difference that can make. You know, to think about this in, in, in layman's terms, I guess, in English, in plain English, the suggestion is your body's continually consuming more oxygen, driving your metabolism higher and higher when you leave the gym. So, sounds fine and dandy, but how do you do it? Well, the best way to do it is to be able to hit momentary muscular failure. And, you know, you really can create, like, almost a furnace inside of your body if you do this every time. The suggestion is that every time that you choose a certain number of reps for a set, let's call it 10 reps, for example, if you could have done 11, well, you didn't hit momentary muscular failure. That said, if you get to 9 and you know you're going to break form on number 10, who cares whether you got to 10 or not? The goal was to be able to hit that point where you just didn't have any oomph left and you had to let go without breaking form. In doing so, you're always taking your body to a point of, well, let's call it a new level. And in doing, in taking your body to a new level, you're always demanding a higher requirement of it. And so your body goes through this repair process. Now they're competing sort of theories or philosophies on why it's going through um, this repair process. Personally, I'm an advocate to say that I think both are occurring. One is to say that the byproduct of the energy cycle is lactic acid. And I'm sure you guys have heard about lactic acid because, well, that's what's said to get you sore, right? Well, the competing philosophy to this is that there are like many muscle tears taking place or minuscule mu muscle tears um, that your body has to repair over time. And this takes a couple of days. This isn't the same thing as a muscle strain, but you could consider it the same principle, just scaled down into something that that tiny or that little, even even smaller than that, microscopic. So that said, either it's lactic acid or microscopic tears in your muscle. And you know what? I think probably a little bit of both are going on if you're truly hitting momentary muscular failure. And when you do this, your body will undergo this repair process. It will drive your metabolism up higher for the next 48 to 72 hours. Well, what does that mean? That means so long as you get in the gym every 48 to 72 hours, your metabolism is always higher. Over a period of time, what takes place is called habituation, where your body actually learns its new metabolism, uses it as its natural energy requirement, and ultimately your metabolism is higher, allowing you to eat more food, go out with friends, uh, be able to party, enjoy your gym routine, get a ton out of it, and still get the fast lo fat loss results. In fact, get better fat loss results than you probably ever thought possible. Again, I'm Dr. K. Thanks so much for joining me with Fat Loss Secret Number 2. I hope you have a great day.